Greetings everybody, John Tsar here, showing off the boss order and quite a few tips and tricks for how to use all of the special powers in 20XX. So the boomerang blade is most effective against the death lotus and its hidden ability is that it can actually pick up gear from range which recharges your energy. So uh, if there's something like, obviously, it's very easy to jump to and reach gear, but you actually can use it to gain energy in the process. So the Death Lotus then gives you the Mortar, which is effective against the Vile Visage. The Mortar is heat-seeking against uh, SpongeBob's home, those stupid little pineapples, and can go through walls. It's also very effective against those enemies that have the shield. Uh, Vile Visage, the most effective way to use it, well, it does a ton of damage to him just on the base, but then if you use the mortar, when his shield comes up, it breaks his horn and he can no longer ever use the shield again. Vile Visage then gives you the Force Nova, which can break these booby traps in the world. If you use it against those laser traps, it just disables them completely, which is super effective. The Force Nova uh, can also cause a chain reaction against Eternal Star's uh, spawned bats. Uh, Eternal Star gives you the Shade Spur ability. It's this kind of slow, well, can be slow moving like diamond, which uh, follows your momentum, which is most effective against uh, the Perforator Alpha. Uh, and you can use this again, or, um, on these moving platforms, or these disappearing platforms, rather, to make them permanent, which can be very helpful in the last few stages of the game. Now, using the Shade Spur against Perforator, when he does his 360 degree spin attack, will actually interrupt his attack and stop him from just spinning and firing, firing wildly. Uh, uh, Perforator, like he has these normal attacks which are very easy to dodge, but then when he starts spinning uh, is when it's very difficult to dodge and very easy to take a little bit extra damage, but you can break his attack with Shade Spur. Uh, Perforator then gives you the Vera ability, which is this automatic gun, and if you aim it down, you can actually use it to gain height if you don't have uh, some legs that let you do that on their own. And Vera is most effective against Kerr, and you're supposed to shoot, you're not supposed to shoot Kerr himself, you're supposed to shoot the big squares that he spits out, and those then get reflected back towards him. So they only do one damage a piece against him. Uh, the Quint laser is what Kerr gives you and is most effective against Shatterbeak. And there's three levels of charge for the Quint laser. On the highest level of charge, you can uh, destroy vending machines, which then just drop all the health or whatever's inside the vending machine and sometimes upgrades. Uh, Splinter Faust is dropped by Shatterbeak and you can fire it in any direction that you want and can also be used to freeze the fire spitting um, booby traps in some of the levels and uh, splinter frost uh, can be used to freeze the fire twin astral that's it it does more damage against the ice twin astral but it does not actually freeze him so uh, and obviously you can fire in any direction and then finally rollster beta gives you the flame shield or I'm sorry, the Twin Astrals give you the Flame Shield, and you can use that uh, to stop the Rollster Betas in their track. And they also grant immunity to the um, to the ice blocks that, or not the ice blocks, the essentially Splinter Frost uh, ice spits that are in the environments. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you want to see some more 20XX, check out my premature evaluation slash review of 20XX. Really enjoying this game a lot. a lot. You know, more and more as time goes on, I'm getting a lot more value out of it than I initially anticipated. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more updates and game on.